what's up guys and we are back at it again with another video i just want to say i am so sorry for not posting in like what two weeks oh my gosh it's been so long i'm sorry to keep you guys waiting it was a hectic hectic two weeks trying to take final exams and move to my dorm and blah 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 and all that so but we are back we are back with more videos i promise and Secondly, what else was I going to say secondly? Oh, secondly, um, I'm thinking about starting up my story again. I made a story not too long ago or kind of long ago. Either way, I might restart it up um, called A Second Chance of Love. And I will leave it in the description box down below. Y'all should check it out. Tell me if you like it. All the good stuff. But anyway, we're going to be reading the uh, Boily Bonner today because you guys really seem to like that. And you also guys seem to also like Lipstick Jungle. But anyway, let's just hop on into the story. As my friend and I neared the building, I couldn't help but notice how luxurious the area was. I guess it was large skyscrapers painted the sky. Men and women walked across as if they were constantly smelling something bad in all the latest fashion. I felt totally out of my depth. Alright, so last time you, oh, well, us, and Diamond got discovered by some lady while we were working in the club to be bunny boilers and she wanted us to come in for an interview. There's no receptionist or anything. How do we know where to go? I don't know. This building isn't like anything I've seen before. There were a few men and women walking around and making phone calls, but the great entrance hall was otherwise pretty empty hey girls are you looking to hire i wonder how anyone could cheat on you two fine ass ladies uh no we're looking for mercedes we both have an interview for this morning really you two remember choices matter she was like y'all you crazy i hate when choices matter um we're gonna do sassy Yes, and I appreciate it if you could tell us where, where her office is, unless you don't actually know and are just wandering around this huge room with some sort of un entitled sense of importance. Now I can see why Mercy wanted you two girls here. Tristan likes people who are up front of Sassy. He'll remember this. Take the elevator up to the front floor. Fourth floor? I can't read. Mm, I'm sure you'll do great. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's 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 go. Did you see those two girls? Who? Yeah, who? You're both useless. How am I meant to gossip with you if neither neither of you pay attention? Whatever. Why do you care so much? Well, Marcy is hiring again. And I actually think she has it right this time. You meant after Janet left, she couldn't handle she couldn't hack the bunny lifestyle. I think those two can. How could you possibly know that after speaking to them for a minute? I just have an eye for it, okay? Okay, so we kind of... Tristan, Tra Tristan Travis kind of likes us, so that's something. What do you think about that guy? He seemed alright. He was an asshole. Uh, he seemed alright. We don't know him enough to just be like, he's an asshole. <sighs> I liked him. We wouldn't know how to get to Mercy's office without him. I better not. I better push the button. I'm not walking up four flights of stairs in these hills. Ooh, 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 ooh. I took a minute to survey my surroundings. Everything was up, up lit and very high standard it sort of looked like it could have been a hotel or something i can't explain it princess but i feel like we're meant to be here you know <laughs> if you say so our friend is excited about being a bunny boiler i mean it's better than being a bartender at the strip club you know dealing with all them people wait hold the elevator hold that elevator girl Ooh, cuteness. Thanks. I don't know. I don't want my ass handed to me by my boss. 
Cuteness overload. Driver, roll up the partition, please. Hey. I said, driver, roll up the partition, please. You don't need to see him print this on her knees. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. He's daddyish all over. I tried to steal my eccentric heart rate as the man before me pressed the button in a panic. He was deliciously handsome, tall and muscular with a sleeve full of intricate tattoos. Damn, what a snack. Time to customize your first love interest. Brian, make him a cutie pie. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. I kind of like Brian the way he is. So we're just going to keep Brian like this. Yes, he is dreamy. Forget about him being a snack food. He's a damn four quarters to me. Oh, there you go. I say, bae, it's a snack. He say, it's the entree. If none of y'all know where that is, it's from Cardi B's album. And if you haven't heard Cardi B album, you need to listen to it. Anyway, don't blush. Don't blush. Don't blush. Whisper, psst. He's a dish, isn't he? Hey, we're new here. Fancy showing us around someone? Damn it, Diamond. Why do you have to be such a tart? I, uh, ex um, ignore her. You're obviously a busy man. Hey, it's not easy being a bodyguard. A bodyguard? Mmm, sounds dangerous and sexy. Well, I don't know about it being sexy. The women, the girls and guys that work here can sometimes need it. Some very influential people don't appreciate being honey trapped. Honey trapped? Oh, wow, you guys really are new around here. Look, it isn't my place to tell you about what goes on here. You're better off talking to Mercedes about all this, okay? Well, we see more of you if the if we take the job here. I guess so. Although I'm not the only bodyguard here. Ding dong. Level four. Doors opening. Well, that's us. See you around, cutie. Diamond is so forward. I love it. I'm sorry about her. She's very forward. It's cool. I'm Princess. Brian, let's see if you unlocked a special scene. You captured the you chose the flashy outfit and captured Brian's attention. Hey, hey, Brian. <laughs> you don't know if Mercy, you know, if Mercy doesn't hire you, I'll tell her she's one crazy machata. <laughs> Mama Tita. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. You should. You look gorgeous. I'd love to photograph you one evening. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. I... I sound so creepy. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a photographer. I'm not some perp. I swear. It's okay. I'm flattered, but I'll have to get to know you a little more if you're going to be if you're gonna be taking my picture. Now that can be arranged, little lady. <laughs> hey, hey, Brian. We're gonna be pushing up on Brian like, rescue us, Brian. Rescue us. I flush. From head to toe, as Brian inched closely towards me, I caught a gentle trace of his cologne, which was deep and sexy, masculine, without being overbearing. I was lost in a moment, mentally addressing him with my mind. Princess, hurry up, bitch! Diamond is such a cockblock. <laughs> Shit, I gotta run. It was great to meet you, princess. Hopefully, I'll see you around. Damn, girl, chill your bean. Girl, don't chill your bean. Hop on it. Jump on it. Hey. Damn, she's sexy. Also, that ass, though. That is. That is. That is. That is. She bad. She bad. Okay, once again, Cardi B's album. But, sorry. I don't know, y'all. I'm really hyper. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, honey. For just a hot minute, can you stop being a bodyguard and start being my lover? Mercy, mercy, mercy. You pay me a hell of a lot more than what I got as a mall cop. I'd never forgive myself if I didn't properly check your office and something went wrong, would I? Owen, Mama is getting impatient. You know what happens when Mama gets impatient. I'll be right with you, my queen. How can I please you today, boss? First, don't call me boss. Queen will suffice. <laughs> I like her attitude. Anything my queen desires. Get on your knees. Of course. Hmm. Uh, Mercy, we have company. Oh, yeah, I have two interviews scheduled this morning. Rain check. 
for heaven's sake, Owen, you'll get your sugar at some point today. But please don't pot like a spoiled child. Come and find me on your lunch break. But first, do your morning round, okay? You mean it? I'll go and inspect the rest of the building. What a doofus. Shame he's so good in the sack. Come in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I held my breath as we entered Mercedes' office. It was beautiful and sleek with clean lines and touches of gold. Not to mention the view was breathtaking. Hey girl, hey. Hello, Miss D. La Rosa. Oh God, never call me that again. I'm divorced and never want to be a Mrs. Anyone ever. My apologies, Mercedes. I hope I haven't messed this up already. I watched carefully as Mercy hopped down from the desk in her designer heels as if it was the most natural thing in the world. Not a single glossy curl was out of place as she tipped her frame down her nose and gave Diamond and I the once over. Please, darling, call me Mercy. It's great to meet you properly, Mercy. I asked Princess here for you to join me as I liked your attitude. I also scrub, you also scrub up very well. You have a great figure and a very attractive face. <laughs> Thank you. As for Princess, you look fantastic. My bunnies need to stand out from the crowd, you know? And you're, th you're rocking this look sexy without being trashy. I call it Boss Couture. Yes, girl. I'm so not used to get being complimented like this by my potential future boss. Bottom line is, you look gorgeous, honey. I can't wait to get you into some designer clothes and really show you two off. Yeah, like I can afford designer clothes. Oh boy, I know that look. Honey, if you're working for me, you need to look your absolute best. You'll have a whole closet of pretty things to work with, okay? You won't be taken out. It won't be taken out of your salary. <laughs> what? Girl, I need a job like this. We get a closet? Oh, sweetie, you don't just get a closet. You'll have to... S You'll have to stay here in one of the rooms above. Wait, what? We'd have to move in? Absolutely. The top floor of these buildings are all apartments that have been designed by yours truly. All my bunnies have to stay here. It's part of the contract. How can I keep my girls and guys safe here? They're out living in some shooty, shouty, I'm gonna say shady home somewhere or with mommy and daddy. This is a risky job sometimes and it's the only solution. This is crazy. This is awesome. You won't have to worry about rent or bills. You'll be on, but you, but you will be on shift work. Some days you might get a case. Other days you'll be on your own. It really is random. So we'll get to stay here in this gorgeous building. That's right. I understand there is a lot to consider. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I would recommend asking all the questions. Um, is this job legit? So this is like a legitimate career. Granted, it's not one of, that people actively seek out. But yes, I pay my taxes and mortgage just like everybody else. Take a look around you, dear. Does this look like a scam to you? It looks like it might have been a hotel or something. Maybe it was once upon a time. It's my business now. Is there any... Is that everything dear? Nope. I'm done. Thank you for answering all my questions, truthfully. <gasps> oh, oh, man. I goofed up. I goofed up. I'm still not sure. Princess, are you out of your mind? I understand your reservations after all i'm asking you to give up your jobs and homes how about i show you to your rooms you do a trial run tomorrow and then you can decide i'm down i guess we can give it a try i'm not going to lie to you girls i recently lost a good bunny and with the current load work workload i need two more this offer will expire in 24 hours understood excellent follow me girls Diamond, would you really go through with this? Is that really a question? Of course I am. You do what you have to do, but I'm personally tired of being a waitress just as a cat. I guess she has a point. Can't hurt to just check the place out, right? We followed Mercedes out of 
her office and got into an elevator once again. I kept my eyes peeled in case I saw Brian again, but he must have been busy. Wait, why was I even thinking about him? Shut up, Brain. We thinking about the sexy bodyguard. We finna change our names to Whitney and be Whitney Houston and fall in love with the bodyguard. Anyway, Princess will start where you should be staying. Okay, okay. Where are we staying, girl? Where are we staying? Let's go, let's go. Ooh, ooh, this is your bedroom. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. We might can do this. Oh, girl, look at that shower. This is your bathroom. Oh, girl, look at that shower. Shoot. Oh, girl, we got a walk-in closet. Do you know how much I want to walk in closet? This is your kitchen. I'm ready. Nice little kitchen. Love it. Love it. What do you think, princess? It's a lot to take in. I love it. I love it. Wow. I love it. Me too. I can't believe we get a chance to live in such a gorgeous place. I'm glad you like it. A lot of hard working work went into renovating these rooms. Diamond, your room is right next door. Nothing is too much trouble for my staff. We also have a gym, a staff kitchen, comfortable living area, and a swimming pool. A swimming pool? And a sauna. This is why I think you should seriously consider what a great opportunity this is. Something like this won't happen again. Trust me on that. I'm so down. Where do I sign? I like your enthusiasm, Diamond. Both of you will have a trial run tomorrow, and if I'm happy, then we'll talk about a contract. But both, you're both welcome to stay the night and explore if you wish. But I expect you both up looking your best by 9 a.m. sharp. There are two low-profile cases for you two to look into tomorrow. So now I have some business to attend to. Time to get my daily dose of vitamin D. <laughs> I can't believe this. No, neither can I. You're not seriously doubting this place, are you? Doesn't it all seem too good to be true? Princess, this isn't going to be a walk in the park. Mercy said it herself. There are times when this is going to get messy. Times when maybe our head and our hearts don't agree. And when is something like this ever going to come up again? We have a chance to live, leave our crappy apartment and our even crappier jobs and Kim behind and start fresh. We might even get to make up a persona. I don't know, Diamond. I need to think about it. We would have to move out the apartment. Is that such a bad thing? I don't know. It's all we've done since moving to New York. Don't you want something exciting to happen? I'm taking this chance with or without you. All right, all right. I guess we can stay the night and explore. We got our doubts. Yes. What have I gotten myself into? Little did I know that taking that job was the start of a whole new crazy life. A whole new crazy life that would change everything. <laughs> Diamond and I spent the day exploring and built, exploring the building and the businesses around it. There was a cafe, a few boutiques, and another, and other offices scattered across the streets. The whole area had a sleek, expensive feel to it. Did Diamond and I fit in? Probably not. Could we get used to it? Strong possibility. After exploring and getting our bearings, we headed home to collect some things. Toothbrush, pajamas, etc. Mercy gave Diamond a spare key to my room, which I wasn't that happy about. Although everything was persistent and untouched, almost as if it hadn't been lived in. How much money did Bunny Bells make? It seemed crazy for Mercy to house all of her staff in one building. Something had to be going on here, right? It got till late afternoon and I was feeling tired. I slipped into a tank top and headed to bed. This isn't a dream, is it? I can't believe I'm in some strange bedroom contemplating a life of seducing men and women. Still, I'd be lying if I said that that wasn't the best night's sleep I'd ever had. Oh my god. <laughs> why is Di why is Diamond legit me? What the hell? Good morning, my little Nikki friend. Diamond, what are you doing here? Get out! And I'm not tacky I have underwear on. I was just giving you a morning spoon. 
you make out you make out that I'm such a bad friend. Personal space diamond, you need to look it up. Meh, I'm gonna go make us some coffee. I better get up and try to figure out what I'm wearing today. Uh, 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 ooh, cheeks. <laughs> Holy cow, there's so many choices. How am I supposed to pick out what to eat, wear each one? Look at that closet, y'all. Look at that closet. This is Princess Work Closet. You'll have a new closet for dates, chilling at home, and going places. Remember, you don't have, you don't work at any ordinary. You are encouraged to doll up as much as you can. It's color coordinated, so I hope you enjoy looking through all the options. Alrighty, what do we want to wear? What did we wear yesterday? We had on gold. So let's see. Let's see the blue options. Okay, girl. Okay. Yes, honey. Okay, we like it. We like it. I feel like it's just like too dressed up. Once again, I feel it's too dressy. We're gonna wear the Hello Sailor. Cause it's cute and it's dressy, but it's not like, it's not like way over the top. And should we put on, yeah. Bam! I rock this look. We're gonna do her hair beach wavy. Bam! Okay, girl. I see you. I think I look pretty damn good. I think I'm ready. Ready to check on Diamond. Yes, girl. Everything okay? No! I don't have a clue what to wear. I want to make a good impression. Show me your options. I think I narrowed it down to four. Okay. This one, edgy, still feminine. I like it. This one, sexy without being too much. It's cute. This one, this is pretty without being over the top. And lastly, this one, red is always a good choice. Which one should I wear? I think we can be opposites because like I have them blue and she has blue hair and then like we'll say the red. This is the best one. Okay, I'm ready. We look great. I can't believe we get to dress like this to go to work. I guess it'll take some getting used to. We gotta get going. I know Mercedes doesn't like like people. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god, is that it? Oh my gosh, why did it have to end like that? I was, I was waiting. I was waiting. This is us and our bestie, y'all. Y'all can snap away. If y'all want to. Y'all can snap away. But other than that, um... That is it, guys. Once again, so sorry for the long wait-up videos, but no more waiting. They're coming. Um, you should, guys, be getting them more frequently now. But anyway, I'm going. To, once again, I'm going to leave my story that I wrote a while ago down in the description box down below. I hope you guys read it. Tell me what you think. You can tell me in the comments. You guys can tell me in the story. And I have my own um, Instagram. And I'm going to put that in the description box below as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.